FX sidechain, allow drag and drop sidechain creation to effects in containers, floating windows. When creating sidechain via drag and drop to effects, always add or route new track channels. Reconfigure pin mappings for sidechain if FX has four inputs. So this is actually a pretty important change. You might run into some issues if you're used to kind of the old way. In this little project, I've got a kick, snare, and a bass, and I want the kick and the snare to trigger compression on the bass so that it ducks. So here's how it sounds without the compression active. All right, so I've got recomp here on the bass track. If I drag and drop from the routing button onto the plugin, that's going to use my default send level. I'll just bump that up to zero dB. And you can see here that's incremented the channels to three and four. So it's sending from one and two, the sound of the kick, into channels three and four of the base channel, which is the external side chain for the recomp. So I'll just set this to auxiliary inputs. Got this at a four to one ratio, and I'll turn down the threshold until I start to see some compression. Something like that. So let's add in the snare drum to this. So if I do the exact same thing, drag and drop the routing button onto the bass compressor, take a note of this. It's actually increased the number of channels to five and six. So if I play this back, instead of seeing compression happening from the kick and the snare on the bass, we're actually only going to see it happening from the snare drum. And that's not how it used to work. So again, this could be a good feature, this could be a bad feature. Let's reset that. So I'm gonna delete these two sends. I'm gonna reset this track to two channels. So this is basically how it was before. No sends, no compression. This time I'm gonna take the two tracks and drag the routing while holding shift into the plugin. And now both of these sends are using three and four. So holding shift while dragging the routing button to the plugin is going to increase the number of channels to three and four. And both sends are going to be the same, sending from channels one and two to three and four. And if I play this back, that actually works great. Let me just delete this send from the snare track. If we wanted to kind of reproduce our, our usual workflow of sending the kick, figuring out the compression, then sending the snare in, we just have to do things a little bit differently. I'm just gonna come over to the mixer view where the sends are visible. And I'm just gonna do this basically the same way. So instead of dragging the routing button to the, the plugin, just drag a send to the plugin. And now this is going to reuse channels three and four. So very slight difference, just one thing different that we're dragging, and it doesn't increase the track channels when we're using the send section, only when we're dragging the routing button there. But if we did it just a regular send from the snare track to the bass track, that would have sent on channels one and two. So dragging into the plugin increases the track channels when it's dragged from the routing button. But if we drag from the send section, it's going to reuse that last used or the side chain input, usually three and four. And now how does this sound? So it's ducking the way that I want it. So it's a kind of a subtle tweak to the way that we're used to working. It's great when you want those track channels to increase each time for the plugins that support multiple inputs, but we don't always want that. So just the one thing to be aware of, if you're sending a second input into something that has a sidechain set up already, and you don't want to increase the channels, use the sends onto the plugin rather than the routing button onto the plugin or sends onto the track. And if you want to do multiple tracks at once, you can hold down shift. If you want to do multiple tracks at once, well, also disabling the master send from those sending tracks, you can hold down the shift and alt keys.